we decided to have a citywide poetry contest. We launched the contest in April, which is National Poetry Month, and we solicited poems from Cambridge residents, and through various hours of combing through the poems, we selected five poems to be imprinted in city sidewalks. The city was actually approached by a Cambridge resident back in 2014, and she had this idea because she had heard about it through other cities in the country that were already doing this. So we thought it was a great idea. She talked with the Department of Public Works Commissioner, and we talked with our partners over at the Cambridge Arts Council and the Cambridge Public Library, and then we started to meet and formed the program. And in the first year, 2015, we received over 300 poems from Cambridge residents. One of the things that came here is because it's always nice to see poetry put in a public place. In ancient times, they would always have a statue in the middle of the square where people would go and look at the statue. And then you had a right to say, well, I like that statue, I don't like it, but it was like part of the art scene. And so when you put poetry out, what you're doing is you're putting it on the ground, in this case it's in cement, and people just walk by and somebody might happen upon it and say, oh, that's really beautiful. So the idea is to put poetry where people can access it. You don't have to go into a poetry reading that might be intimidating. You don't have to go to the library and get a book. You could just walk in down the street and casually at your feet is a poem. It was a very interesting process to pick the pick the poems. We were looking for poems that would be fun to see in city sidewalks. We wanted a range of feelings and emotions. Um, we actually had specific criteria for the poems to meet. They had to be a certain number of words, a certain number of lines, something that would strike people as they were walking by on the sidewalk. I wrote a haiku, very short poem, 17 syllables. Um, and, um, you know, it was very exciting to be chosen. It's a, it's a wonderful feeling to know that the poem is going to be there for a long time and that people will see it. I'm very happy because I think it brings poetry into the lives of people who might not choose to read a poem, either in a newspaper or in a poetry book. The idea is that we're placing poems in sidewalks that are already scheduled to be reconstructed. So it's coordination with a contractor, it's coordination with other city staff to observe the installation. We've also tried to have some of the poets on site when we install, so making sure everyone's schedules are open, the weather is also a factor, the construction contractor schedule, so there's a lot that goes into the installation. We spent a little time trying to find a fabricator for the poetry stamps. It's actually, as you'll see, a big kind of stiff plastic stamp, just like you would have a rubber stamp that you might put on a letter or a piece of paper. It's really the same idea. Um, and they are actually able to produce them fairly quickly, so the turnaround time is quickly, and then you know, they go into the sidewalk. It's, it's been so well received. I mean, we could not be happier with the enthusiasm behind the program. I mean, we receive emails and calls all throughout the year wanting to know, you know, when is the program going to start again, the contest, when can people submit poems. Um, so it's been really well received through city officials, the public, everybody's really excited about it.